let me start with the conspiracy theory one. Has the internet compounded the popularity of conspiracy theories? I, think I have, one. I was <laughs> just reading about this the other day and there's an argument you can make uh, on either side, because yes. on the one hand, there's there's more channels for conspiracy theorists or purveyors of conspiracism to uh, spread their ideas and more ways for people to find out about these crazy ideas. But on the other hand, there's more ways to check them and more ways to find out what's ridiculous about them because we have so much access to so much information. So uh, I think it's probably true that... Uh, you know, without the internet, we wouldn't have somebody like Alex Jones, uh, who's got this huge audience. Um, but there have been, it's also really important that if you, if you look at the studies that have actually been done on this, uh, up until very recently, up until just the past few years, um, the, the scientists who study uh, the spread of conspiracy theories would have said we have an average level of conspiratorial talk in this society compared to times in the past. Um, so for example, if you, I, I, I'll, I'll recommend this book, um, American Conspiracy Theories by Joseph oh, Usinski yeah. and yeah. Joseph Parents. They did a study of, um, what they did was they surveyed, they did a study of the letters to the editor written to the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune between like 1890 and 2010, and they yeah. coded these letters for different kinds of language that were associated with, with conspiracism. And uh, they found that there was a big uptick of conspiracism in the 1890s when people were worried about trusts and monopolies and capitalist conspiracies. Uh, and then it declined. And then there was a big uptick again in the 1950s when uh, communism, uh, when it was communist conspiracies that people were worried about. And then there was a decline since then. There's been an uptick again recently, but they theorize that the ages of conspiracy are the ages when there's political realignment happening and, and different uh, political alliances are merging and uh, negotiating with each other. And people don't understand what's happening politically in the world. And I think that something like that's happening now. It's starting to happen. Um, and that's, that's a much bigger part of the reason why uh, there's a spread of of conspiracism, much more than any kind of technological issue. I mean, in the 50s, there was a the new alignment that was happening was religious conservatives and free market types were first starting to get together in response to the communist threat. Yep. And we've been dealing with the collapse of communism for the last 20 years. What's happening to our political system because of that? Uh, the, and we can see that alliance really breaking down before our eyes right now in the person of Trump. The, the, the free market types are basically getting kicked out uh, of the Republican Party yep. uh, because there's not this there's not this this group no that enemy. they're, no that they're enemy. aligned against. And yep. that's that's you know, that's what conspiracism thrives from is the perception of a, of a kind of common enemy. Now, other enemies are starting to replace the common have been replacing them for a while. And, and uh, uh, I think that's much more the reason why this is happening. Yep. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right.